Hi and welcome to another very exciting quick tip tutorial. Today we're going to talk about sets, something you might remember from school and you already see two sets represented by those two colorful circles on the screen. But before we get started, let me point you to a free webinar that I am conduct on June 16th. This is uh, one week from now. And you can sign up for this webinar, which is all about best practices around auto layout when you click on the link in the video description below. It's completely free. So um, if you're interested in auto layout and want to improve in this area, feel free to join this live webinar. But now let's get back to our um, sets here. So we have two sets and let's imagine we were to create an application where we have users and users do have friends. And now it's kind of interesting how we can figure out different things about the friends of those users. So what we can do, for example, is we can intersect both users by having a look at the center here. We can actually figure out which friends both of our users do have in common. But it could also be interesting to have the union of both friends and see a list with all the friends that both users do have together. So these are just two set operations that we can do, but I'd like to demonstrate them now to you in code. So let's go ahead and open up Xcode, and I'm going to get started with the playground since we do not need any user interface here. Uh, we will simply use a playground for now. Let's call it set playground. Um, and if you're not familiar with playgrounds, playgrounds are pretty nice plays to just try out some code. Uh, and as you can see, a playground is also a place where people can play. And that's what we're going to do. We are going to create two friends of user sets. So let's call this first one friends of user A and the second one friends of user B. And we can then actually define those friends simply as we would with a um, with an array. So let's maybe say um, John is a friend here and Brian and let's say Melinda and Phil. And let's also give our uh, friends of user B set a list of friends. Let's say it's Melinda, Phil and maybe also Alex. And as you can see now, we actually simply created um, two arrays, but that's not what we want. We want sets. And to get actually, or to, to make sense out of those arrays, we can simply give our two constants a type, which is going to be set. And we can be even more specific. We can tell this set to be a set of strings. So let's do the same uh, thing here. This is also going to be a set of strings. Now with those two sets, let's now perform an operation like intersect. And to do that, we will simply create another set, which we are going to call common friends. And now to get the common friends of um, user A and user B, all we need to be, uh, all we need to do is use our friends of user A set and tell it to intersect with the friends of user B. And what we get should be Melinda and Phil. And indeed, we get Melinda and Phil as a result. But as you can see, um, they are not sorted the way they are in those two sets above. And that is the reason why you might want to sort your um, your sets or this, uh, the result of a set operation um, yourself. And to do that, let's make another quick example. Um, let's say we have a number set A, which is going to be a set of integer variables. And let's just say one, two, three, four, and five. And let's create a number set B, also a set of integers with the numbers of four, five, six, seven, and eight. And let's now use the union operation for the first time. And this is actually not common, it's a common list of friends. So. Um, now let's create um, a union of both number set A and number set B. So let's call this union. And all we need to do again is call number set A and tell it let's union with number set B. And then it's um, 
uh, it's obvious that there is no real sorting applied here. So with two, four, five, six, seven, three, one, eight, that's not the way we want it. And to actually really sort this union set, what we can do is take it and call the sort function. And as you can see here within this closure, when we call it, um, we get two integers now that we can use as parameters. So let's call the one, the first one A, the second one B. And then we have simply to return something, as you can see it requests a bool as a return value. And we can now simply compare those two values and use, for example, the less than operation here. And this gives us an ascending sort, uh, ascended sorted um, list of numbers with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if we wanted this list to be descending, all we need to do is reverse um, B and A here. And now, as you can see, we get eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So as you can see, sets can be very, very useful in different circumstances and working with them is also pretty easy. So if you'd like to see more of those kind of videos, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you next week.